Managing sweat. A common problem that many prosthetic users complain about is sweat. There are some experimental developments being made using Botox injections for severe cases, but aside from that, here are some of the things that may help. First off is acclimation. With time, the sweat glands recognize that this hot, humid environment is not going to change and they stop producing as much sweat. Second is the fit of the liner. With the tight liner, the sweat really has nowhere to go. A liner that's worn out or too loose can create a problem with the sweat pulling and the liner slipping. Even with a good fitting liner and an acclimated residual limb, sweat can still be bothersome and can be prevented somewhat by antiperspirant. You can start with your typical underarm antiperspirant and if that isn't enough, try off the shelf clinical strength cert and dry available at your local pharmacy. Prescription strength dry salt or similar is a next step but I would advise you to use caution as these products can dry out your skin. Also, ask your prosthetist if these products will likely break down the gel material of your liner. It might work best to apply these products to your leg at night before you go to bed as they take a while to be absorbed anyway. There are some wicking socks such as the Liner Liner by Knitrite or the Swift Wick sock designed to be worn under the liner. These work to a certain extent but can get uncomfortable when they are saturated with sweat. During intense exercise, such as running, a lot of sweat inside the liner actually comes from higher up on the body. A sweat band worn above the liner can help stop the sweat in its tracks. Hopefully in the future, the problem with sweat inside the liner will be resolved. Until then, I hope these tips will help keep your socket environment slightly more comfortable.